drop a beat. This is how. This is how. This, this is, is how it starts. starts. Y'all didn't know I have a DJ <laughs> name on the weekend. <laughs> drop a different beat. <laughs> All right, it is time for the Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Ooh, Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Thank you. Thank you. Today we won't chew into the mics this time. Is that a better one? <laughs> that was awesome. Whoop, 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 whoop. What's up, fanatics? Welcome to episode 124 of the Funko Funcast, the only official Funko podcast recorded at Funko HQ in Everett, Washington. This is your host, Sully. This is Hillary. It's Ashley from work. And to know my name, you must find a black raven feather in the old cemetery and burn it in the swamp of Aspakin. Eleven princesses of the void will f- come forth, sing the somber song of sleep. Boom, 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 to the lid doom. My name is Dima, and I need leg room. So, guys, I'm Dima. <laughs> Hillary, tell us about the dangers of a swamp fire. The dangers of swamp fire? Yes. Well, there are many gases in the swamp, so you have to be very, very considerate. Methane heavy. And you need to light your fire away from said swamp gases because it could cause quite a fury. Did y'all watch Princess Bride over the weekend or? No. <laughs> is a is the raven your favorite animal? Uh, second to the pigeon, of course. Oh, okay. They're taking a break. Because you do talk about ravens quite a bit. You talk about ravens. ravens and pigeons a lot. Uh-huh. Not Birds very cool. many bats, though. No, they're Which is in. surprising. I know. It's almost mm. suspicious. Bats don't speak for themselves in that matter. I would like the demons to provide some analytics on uh, on your openings and what keywords, like maybe a word cloud, like Raven would would be the biggest word like, in the middle. I feel like you say the word like dripping a lot, mm. dripping. dripping or like boggy. Drape. Have you seen those bats that are like human sized? And you show? Oh, them? I was showing them to those you. Are terrifying. Yeah, they call yeah. them uh, like fly like flying foxes. I think is they're basically dinosaurs. They're yeah. they're like six feet tall. Uh, that is messed up. They don't seem real. Mm-hmm. They're very cute, though. Fluffy. They are. They're very fluffy. I'll show you. Can suck a lever, single blood vessel of your body. <laughs> what? Nope. <laughs> Not for me. Well, I guess you came in the loudest and clearest ever just then in my ear. Yeah. <laughs> so you cringed a little? Just, just it's beautiful. Uh-huh. It's, it's, <laughs> it's glorious. It's a poem. Well, I have something important for all y'all. Please if do tell us. this is your first time listening, we record weekly to bring you the latest reveals, listener questions, hints, bad dad jokes, pop culture discussions, sometimes our own original games. Uh, not this week. Should we, should we record hourly? Giveaways. Hourly. Hourly? Hourly. I'm lucky to record monthly. I... Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, I, sir, I don't I don't think we have the bandwidth. By is hourly? The, <laughs> uh, Hillary just showed me these human-sized bats, and I had flashbacks to several movies that I saw when I was a child, horror films. I mean, wow. this one, sorry, I know this is not a, it's a, a great visual, visual medium, medium yeah. but this is like the size of that motorcycle oh, it's next no. to. Oh, that is just a person in cosplay. That is how I think that's a little in Batman. Mexico. Oh. Mexico. <laughs> it's a Batman. Nope. A single Batman. It's so cute, though. Yeah. It's like a giant bat. Uh, uh, the bats don't hatch in eggs, right? They are literally no, they're like mammals. flop out from the fooper. <laughs> Fooper is an animal from that, that uh, Harry Potter spinoff PG, film. That was though, so yeah. I applaud it. It was. I don't have to insert <laughs> yeah, a foghorn. That was awesome. There's a really cute little diagram that shows that its wingspan is the size of a nah, grown that's male a, adult. I feel like you like drew that diagram. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's right a mini there. Cooper right there. It is no. a mini Cooper. Uh-uh. How does that's it fly? That's like Uber's Jersey new... Uh, yeah. <laughs> look, at it, look at it in the air. The what would you do if that was flying over you? No, I'd shoot that. No, that's a dinosaur. It's like Mothman prophecy. If I lived where that thing existed, that I would carry a shotgun on my hip at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the poops coming out of that. Oh, you like sprayed. from the air. <laughs> yeah, you're like poom. Your car is just like <laughs> it's like a dent. Yeah, like a new color. I'd like to see an infographic of what cars uh, like in Houston they get coated by seagull poo, and up here it would, would be similar. Yeah, and then there they're just big giant. Yeah, There's seagull poo around <laughs> I mean, here. If that's you're for sure. <laughs> Seriously, like if you look up and you see a six foot bat flying over you. No, no. You, you take it down. What do you I do? scream. You go Jeeper Scraper route and I start. I think you made this up for down. Halloween. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I wish I could see one. I would ride it. Oh, Do you think it could? Uh, it could like take me in the air. I think Uber is working on uh, figuring Uber out bats? how to put like saddles on there so you can have <laughs> Uber bats. Uber yeah. bats is like if, Black XL. <laughs> if not, yeah, super super Uber duper bats. Halloween black. That's what that is. Just Lyft, pick you up if by you're your listening, belly. you could you could run with that. Too. Halloween edition of Uber. <laughs> Actually, it works better for the name Lyft. Hey. <laughs> hey. That's amazing. You're flying with Lyft. Nice. Bats. I Bats. love it. 
Uh, just ca- in case anybody's listening for the first time, uh, maybe you joined us <laughs> recently. We do a couple different styles of the Funcast. This was our original format with our group here. We are missing camera today. Uh, who got <laughs> suckered? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Hey! Whoa. Gonna have to delete that part. Who got suckered into a meeting at the last second? So uh, unfortunately, R.I.P. Cameron. Uh, for, for but, today, uh, for an hour. For an hour. Yes. Well, it just happens to be our hour. We'll see him in a little bit. That's how it works out. I'll pour a little a bit of my tea out for him. Mm-hmm. Oh, one pour, for the homies. Can you pour it in yeah. my mouth? And then we also do some <laughs> interview style getting to know podcasts uh, that have been, I think, picking up in popularity. I'm getting some nice feedback oh, yeah, from people. Some, some good, good, good guests. This is not a commercial. You can already tell in our first three to four or five minutes here, we've been talking about everything under the sun, but have we mentioned a Funko product yet? I'm here to push some vinyl. Yeah, that's that's not what we do. We will talk Funko at some point, but I don't want anybody to, to turn it off thinking that's all they're going to hear, you know? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, if you would like to play along with us, a little Funko bingo while you listen, just something fun that we put together early on in the podcast, uh, you can go to ithinkpixels.com slash bingo, and based on the things we say, you can check off those bingo squares. You might get bingo. There is no prize. You could practice for the next live, but I completely forgot to do bingo at New York Comic Con. Uh, there was a lot going on. There was. Mm-hmm. And we had a lot of games. People write it. We did. Has any one of you guys visited a bingo hall? Yes. yes. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I've never been. <gasps> oh, we should do that as There's a group. There's one up in I'd love to. Yeah. We have I don't our know own dobbers. have the smoking, non smoking rooms, but the smoking rooms are. <laughs> I don't think they can do that. You come yeah. out your teeth. Well, it's on the Indian reservation, so yeah. I don't know if the rules It's right are. across five yeah. from. Do you guys want to go? Do, can go. we use our own dobbers? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, I would imagine at this point it's probably electronic. No, the. Well, no, the last time school. I went, there was daubers, and the old women you write with blood. have like 20 of them lined up, and like mm-hmm. 60 different cards, and they're stamping away. Oh, yeah. That sounds like it's fun, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really I want to do it. Yeah. My brother did it in college, and they had some machine you could rent, and you would basically, it would just put in your card number, and it would play it automatically. Uh, so you just no back fun. Oh, that's right. not fun. I yeah. want the ball in the uh-huh. cage yep. situation. I want to mark my own was, uh, card, you know? I want a lady to pick it up out of the cage and scream the number <laughs> into a microphone <laughs> so I can be barely hear it. At least 80. Yes. I think at when least. I was 19 or 18, I went to a bingo hall as my date once. I was invited wow. on the date. Oh, and yeah. she took How old to was she? she? Took me to the bingo. How old was she? I think it was 18, 19. She was How 18. How old was she? 18. <laughs> <laughs> she was 18, Hillary. 18. She's got, <laughs> sure, sure, she's sure. got game. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I thought you were going to say she was like in her 70s or 80s. Oh. <laughs> she was calling the numbers. Madame. Right? Yeah. Dima had to go. She was calling the numbers. He had to go spin the giant ball. <laughs> sure. <with her> cranky <laughs> sure, arm thing. I chose my words carefully. <laughs> All right, first up in the fun cast, even though we've had a, a nice long opening here, we got... Fun cast blast, fun cast blast, pew, 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 pew. Bees. This box I have in front of me, an actual physical box full of questions, emailed in by fans over... I've got... There's a good 50 questions. Well, yeah, there's that. 130. You've got a lot of questions in there. Some of these just put in from this week. Some are months old at this point. That's a long what, if, what if you like spinning and there's like a little hot dog in there? Then I would ask would you, you questions because you're the one that said there's going to be something weird. Oh, that would dog. definitely yeah. be a Dima question so if the there's anything weird. Sacred box, sir. Don't you put anything in there but questions from fans. I'll write a message inside a bun and hide it in there. <gasps> I'm leaving that. Right. As, long as, check this box yes. as long as it's packaged and we can eat it, mm. then it's like just a at fun snack hot you find. Dog? Ooh, this is a question similar to something we had at the live, but I think we should still tackle it for Hillary. Ooh. From Jalapeno Pete. Ooh. <laughs> if you could have a celebrity Jalapeno. host host the next fun cast with you, who would you choose and why? Ooh, celebrity host. Well, it would have to be someone. I always go Steve Buscemi. I don't know. I you think do he... on like everything. Yeah. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just feel like he's always like a really good choice no matter what. You're asking. I'm going gonna, gonna to kind of call Hillary out over here and oh. just say, you have some strange crushes. <laughs> you have like Steve Buscemi. Yeah. Who was it when you were like 19 years old, the actor from uh, X-Files? Oh, David, David Duchovny. Yeah. I love He's David Duchovny. Fox, though, yeah. So. He's right? just literally. 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 Wait, no. Yeah. Fox so, Mulder. Than yeah. me. I also had a crush on Jeremy Irons. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> he was in Die Hard 2. He's got 2. an amazing voice. Die Hard 2, right? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, that is so strange. Three. Three. Yeah. I heard three. He yeah. had bleach blonde hair. He was the mm-hmm. bad guy. Oh. Two is the airport. Oh, one. got it. That makes that sense it. now. So, so you're going... It's about personality. Steve yeah. Buscemi. Yeah. Ashley? Can I get the cast of The Good Place? Just oh, the whole cast. wow. Yeah. I'm going big. I Not just one. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We'll just kind of fade At into the background. The, like, the main four or five. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that. 
Dima. I, I, I get a wet, hungry cat. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I expected none, none less from you. Just sit there, growl. And uh, we're going to go ahead and guess. Can I guess yours? Go for it. Nathan Fillion. Absolutely. Nathan Fillion. <laughs> Would be a number one choice, but I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a curveball because okay. I think most people know I would say that, and I'm gonna go to something I've been putting on Twitter the last couple weeks. I want Rob Zombie on here. Yeah, yeah. I want yeah. Rob Zombie on this podcast. Rob, bad. come on, baby. We got I think he'd be right great. He's, he was great on Nerdist. He'd yeah, oh, he's fantastic. Oh, great podcaster. He's just he's just this chill, even keel dude, mm-hmm. but he has that amazing voice of his and so much experience. Oh, yeah. Same with Steve Buscemi. He's got that <laughs> oh, really go. even we killed really voice. A play here. <laughs> Is Steve Buscemi actually Rob, Rob Zombie? I've never seen them in the same place. At the They're same time. about the same age. What mm. What is that show Parallels. that Steve Buscemi is on, and he plays God, and it's a lot like The oh, Good yeah. Place, but it's yeah. not. That is a good show. It is a fun show. I yeah. can't remember the name of it, but I watched the and whole first Daniel season. And Daniel Radcliffe is in it, yes. too. I really liked that show a lot. Hmm. We need to rewatch it again. I need to rewatch it. It's a quick watch. But yeah. that's how I'm picturing Steve Buscemi, because he would be really funny. Yeah, be, I think, I don't cool. know, like, I, I've never really seen an interview with him. I think he's probably just a big question mark to me, and that's why I keep adding him to every single answer that I've ever given. I think you should start tweeting at him and see. I'm gonna, is he on Twitter? Oh, here's a question to you guys. You get to meet your your fantasy person, whoever, you know. You know Jake whatever, Gyllenhaal? Whoever. I get to meet him. Where do you want to meet them? Like, do you want to be in a restaurant, fancy restaurant, or kind of like, you know, get some quick coffee shop? Would you want to go see a movie? Like, what would you do with your oh. with your dream guest? Or is it like a date? It could be whatever you want. It's to a be. date in my mind. <laughs> Ashley's going All right, date. Ashley, <laughs> tell us about your mind. Where, where, where do you? Want? I'm just saying, if I got to bump into Jake Gyllenhaal at like the grocery store or just some <gasps> random meet, meet. place, and then we we hit it off and exchange numbers. What is it? Cute meat? Is that what it's called? Meet cute. Meet cute. Meet cute. I hate to, to sure. take this away from your great question, but I just looked up Steve Bushimi Twitter, yeah. and one of the top things that comes back is there's an account called Bushimi is God. Yeah. Because <laughs> he is on the show. It's so perfect. Ugh. It doesn't look like he has an official account. So I don't think he would. That's a shame. I don't feel like he'd like social media No, at all. I don't think he would. No. That's why he'd be That's funny on a thing. podcast. He'd be like, what are we even talking about? Like, what are we sitting what, here was, for? Wasn't he in, um, what was that movie he was in where he was holding a skateboard? It's like a meme where he's like, yeah. hey, kids. Hey, fellow youths. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Dima, what is that movie, um, Living in Oblivion? Yeah. He, if you guys haven't I'll seen Living in that. Oblivion, you absolutely have to watch it. It's so good. Steve Buscemi plays a director, and it's kind of goes through the filmmaking process as a director, and it's really, really funny. I bet. I like it. Jalapeno Pete said he would really like Kevin Smith to join us on the fi- fun cast. He's seen him at conventions. Uh, very entertaining celebrity with tons of knowledge about comics, media, and of course, Funko. I feel like yeah. Kevin Smith would be busy. great. I don't think we would get to say much, but that would be fine by me. That's fine. Yeah. Just let the man go. He's a, he's a pro. All right, Ashley, you could start this one off. All right. From Chris, a.k.a. Flip Toys. If you were to pick a place you have never been and asked by Funko to pick a place to do a live fun cast, where would you go? So where where would we do a live fun cast that would make you happy? The UK. Ooh. All right. Mm-hmm. Nice. Any specific reason? You just want to travel? I've just never been over there, so. There you go. Yeah. Let's go over there and eat. I have a feeling we have a few people that listen that are in the UK. Yeah. So it says SoundCloud. Yeah. Sir? Uh, probably in near Volcano. A rock volcano. volcano. Hawaii? Okay, let's go. Yeah. That'd be pretty sweet. I was going to be my choice. I know we or have quite Japan. a few fans that are asking us to go to Hawaii, so I would love to go again. Imagine we do that from uh, one of those like open air with the sun coming in, oh. rainbow in the background. Everybody's getting That'd burnt be beautiful. and crispy. I'd be tan. Yeah. She, I could see, Ashley, Ashley looked off into she the distance. She went there. <laughs> she just she, she could, be tan. She envisioned it. <laughs> what about you, Hiller? I would go uh, Tokyo. I, mm, I like that too. W- I've Wonder. always wanted to go to Japan. I've never been before. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it would be really fun to go to a Comic Con there and experience oh, yeah. that. Um, I think there's a really giant one. I forgot what it's called. It's called Comicet, I think, something like yeah, that. Yeah, you're right. We did a little research and I remember seeing yeah. that. huge attendance numbers. Yeah, <laughs> it was like a quarter million people. Whoa. But it's probably in a space like one third the size of San Diego Comic Con. I think it, it looked like it was a huge space, like multiple level of space. But oh, good. I would like to go there, and it'd be fun to podcast That would be there. awesome. Yeah, in case anybody from Comic Cat's listening, uh, we'd be happy to attend. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That'd love be it. awesome. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. All right, and... What about you? Let's yeah. do... Uh, he said uh, Hawaii, right? Oh. Yeah, Hawaii. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Also, Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii either. It is it is beautiful. It's gorgeous. My wife and I went twice, and on the second time, we really sat and had a nice discussion about, could we just get family members to sell the items in our house and our house and ship us the money, and we just stay here? <laughs> ship you money? Uh-huh. What yeah, island, Maybe we just put in the bank. 
Um, I don't know that Maui wanna, is my favorite. You can't afford to buy much there. Like at real estate, especially if you're not a Hawaii uh, native, a Hawaiian native, it's tough to, to purchase. So I think I'd, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get locked down on one spot. Yeah. Move around and experience different parts. That's fair. All right, a final question for today. We'll start that off with you, Dima. Hey, baby. From Aaron Garcia, who emails me all the time and is very upset I don't uh, feature his questions. Well, here you are, So here Aaron. we go, Aaron. Uh, let's see. How many Funko shirts do you currently own? <sighs> and do you have a favorite shirt that you'd like to see reprinted so you have a minty fresh one? That is a very tough question because every con that we go to, we get three four. or four. <laughs> yeah. And we have to keep those <laughs> because it says staff on it. <laughs> so we can't really do anything with that. But my favorite one... I like the purple one from 2017, I think. Oh, with just the circle logo ECC, on the front? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was ECCC shirt. Oh, that was NYCC. It was yeah. it NYCC, mm-hmm. yeah. The purple one with the uh, just round print logo. That was the day we had, like, there was a purple day, there was a salmon colored day, mm-hmm. there was a yeah, green yeah, yeah. day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, green I, day. <laughs> I, think I didn't should... like salmon day. Didn't do well for my skin tone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of those colors are tricky. Yeah. We should print the fan version of the shirts because so many people asking for it. Totally. That conversation comes up every yeah. time. Every yeah. time. Just remove staff from it and just like, here you go. I, I had the idea that the fun NYC shirt, we should do just an inverse color, a white shirt with that same printing on there. Uh, so it's completely different. Yeah, There's yeah. no mistaking it for a, a Funko staff shirt. Yeah. And I, I think, think people would have really dug that. Uh, my favorite all time, that's a tricky one. I think it's the 20 years that was given out mm-hmm. at Fun Days a couple years ago with the uh, with the Asian print. Oh, the blue one? Yeah, there's yeah, a blue, the, the and there's blue. a green, yeah. and a maroon one. But any of those is fine. I just love the the vintage look with the Funko logos and all the different print, just like what you see down in the anime section in our store. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I get a lot of compliments when I wear it on lives and stuff, but I've worn that one a few too many times, and yeah. it's starting to show its age. <laughs> so I'd yeah. like a, a minty, fresh one. It's the best when teachers are getting like worn into you. Oh, I don't. You, like you can't. You no. can't show it outside. I like them new. No, I like, I like, I like both. Blue. So I like it when they're worn, but I want the print. But the to be m- new. the fabric has to stay okay. Yes. Sometimes cotton fabric gets nasty. It gets it, like worn yeah. and stuff. Well, that's why you never yeah. wash them. What? Well, that's not going to work for me. <laughs> well, that does not work for me either. But you learn. I would have to go. I can't remember what year it is. I think it was 2017 Emerald City Comic Con. Mm-hmm. But we had all of the Seattle specific shirts. We had like the monorail with Freddy. We had the Starbucks logo um, as Freddy, right? One, yeah. And Sounders, I think, too. Oh, I never got that. It must have been 2016. 2016? Yeah. Okay. Because I came on in 2017 and I, I don't have those shirts. I thought those were so fun because they were just a totally different design for every day. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm sure it was insane to produce that, but mm-hmm. it was fun. Oh, we kind of skipped over how many shirts do you own? You, you, how many you own? Yeah, do you have a ballpark? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Shoot, I don't even know. We're still coming around to you. I didn't forget you, Ashley. Dozens. I have dozens. Dozens? I'm, I'm probably easily between 75 and 100 because yeah. I bought a bunch as a fan, too. Many of which I've never even opened. Surprise, surprise. I probably have around 45 or 50 yeah. at least. Yeah. I do a good job of cycling mine out. Smart. Yeah. Uh, I, I have two huge stacks of them right now. Yeah. Because I just rearranged a bunch of stuff. But my favorite is probably my phone cash shirt. Ooh, nice. We need some new colors. Absolutely. Mine's definitely the pile Solid. system. I have shirt, piles. Man. Yeah. <laughs> piles. I'm working on it. I'm tired of being <laughs> shirt, sh- sh- t-shirtless. I th- uh, well. Shirtless? <laughs> I'm going to leave You're it alone. shirt right now, sir. What t-shirtless from oh. Funko? Aaron Garcia said he owns eight, and I bet that's changed because this question I think has been in this box for like over a year. Oh yeah, he's, uh, he's reading papyrus with a. Yeah, uh, with <laughs> I use the papyrus and the answers in Comic Sans because those are the two best fonts on the planet. Uh, he wishes that the skateboard Funko ice cream shirt would get reprinted uh, or restocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's a good one. A that's lot of a those shirts one. that came out around the same time, like there's the one that's the heathered three quarter sleeve one that I've seen some staff wearing, where it's like it's the. Um, skateboard design oh, on the back. Oh, yeah, yep. I know what you're talking about. And it's about. like a longer sleeve. The baseball sleeve, tee. The baseball mm-hmm. tee. I love that. Yeah. And when I went to get it, there were only bigger sizes that wouldn't fit. That happened to me, too. Yeah. That's always mm-hmm. tricky. You got to you gotta strike fast. I wish we made more long sleeve shirts. I yeah. wish we made more baseball shirts. Yeah. But they are more money. I love baseball shirts. I love baseball shirts. shirts. And everyone listening, trust us when we tell you that we do pass this information along. We have asked for all these things, and hopefully it happens. It just takes time to get the stuff going. Mm-hmm. I want more jackets and hoodies, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. More zip-up or some zip-up hoodies. Ooh, That's my yeah. favorite. Most comfortable. Mm-hmm. All you right. Would that cool, was... You'd be cool to have like a Leatherman jacket, but only made out of leather. Oh, like a real leather. OG. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Yeah. I'd, Not... pay, I'd pay 200 for that. 
I had one of those in high school, and I've kept it over the years. Yeah. And my wife had one too. And that vinyl, it's not really leather. Mm-hmm. It does not hold oh, up no. well. Oh no! And if it gets Cracks. warm, like ours were sticking together. So I think you have to find something, some special garment bag or something to put those in if you want to keep them. Mine's not looking too good these days. I don't know why I'm keeping it. Like I'm gonna just wear it at work one no, day. No, you can't. No, it's no, it's just for happen. sentimental value. Yeah. I should I still just take have... the letter off and. I still have some of my old school uniforms that, like, at the end of the year, everyone signs your uniform oh, kind cool. of thing. Yeah. All right. That was the Funcast Blast. If you'd like sending questions for future Funcasts, you can send those to podcast at funko.com, which is not a customer service channel. Oh, not it's yet. a customer service channel? Just oh, wow. Where do I send my questions to? <laughs> if, if you would like to ask us if we'll ever make something, <laughs> ask a friend. When are you going to make? We will have a post for that soon, actually. Download the Funko app mm-hmm. and just keep checking it over and over again. There you go. That's, That's how you That's ask. the best way. Mm-hmm. What? Well, nice shout out. <laughs> All right. Next is Fanatic of the Week. A uh, couple months ago, we started doing Fanatic of the Week a little differently. And I'm surprised how many people I talked to at New York Comic Con that didn't know this. So if you're listening, things have changed. We are now looking for candidates on Instagram and Twitter. People who uh, share using the hashtags Fanatic of the Week and My Funko Story. That's two separate hashtags. You just want to share a photo of you with your collection and a reason why you're a Funko fan, why it's important to you. Then we've got some team members, not myself, who are looking for good candidates and will reach out and do a full-on interview with you via email or phone. That's So we've got the new winners of the last couple months. If you look, they've got a lot more photos. They've got a lot uh, lengthier discussion, asking different questions. So it's not just a uh, repetitious series mm-hmm. of questions uh, that we do every week. And I really like the new format. Totally. I, I think they come out really nice. So if you would like to uh, apply... That old form that we used to do is out. You'll have to basically start over. Great time to get your collection organized. Take a new photo. Make sure you're in it. The old photo rules still apply. Oh, yeah. No throwing the camera Not in the just air. Not forehead. Don't do it with the lights off. <laughs> you know, none of that. Now with your iPhone, you can uh, make some oh, awesome photos. I noticed that the Funko Photo a Day, which we'll talk about in a minute, the quality of the photos has really increased over the last couple of years, and that's mostly because of the phones doing so much of the heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's re- they're really, it's impressive. I, I don't know if they're DSLR or what. Imagine That's like I think some of them are. Mm-hmm. The I photo think some people use DSLRs. Oh, I bet. Yeah. The photo is so bad, it's like a photo and takes your whole battery <laughs> to process it. From how That's your phone just dies right after. <laughs> yeah. It's like... It has one of those old flashes that's one time use and you it's throw like it away. It's a magnesium flash of the yeah. powder. Oh, there in you the go. It's bowl. the most wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> smells Our, like you just killed a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> Our most recent fanatic of the week is Chad V from Wellington, Colorado. He has been a collector since 2013. Chad and his granddaughter, Kinley, are avid listeners to the Funcast. So shout out to both of you for listening. I wasn't even born Ooh. in 2013 yet. What? That you weren't born in Math doesn't check out, sir. That does not Wow, check you out. developed rapidly. He was born I'm yesterday. A fast fetus, I'm a baby. Concerned. Literally. <laughs> but Chad and his granddaughter love listening to the Funcast and collecting Funko together. I think Yay. that's amazing. That's cool. If I had asked my grandparents to go toy shopping with me... They would life you out at yeah. the house. Oh, my grandma Wouldn't went happen. toy shopping with me. Did they? Yeah. My grandparents, until the day they passed away, called it the Nintendo, not the Nintendo. Nintendo? Nintendo. Oh, they, yeah, they don't know what it's called but i'll definitely get it (laughs) i like it intending to play nintendo my grandmother had uh fun ways to pronounce a lot of things being from the deep south like warsh instead of wash Mm -hmm. or speaking of hawaii she always called it hoaria hey yeah it's like it sounds like some kind of talking country (laughs) it's like southern aloha hoaria how are you anyway (laughs) how are you now (laughs) shout out to yeah Yeah. all right now we got some yeah (laughs) (laughs) y'all know All right, we got some listener questions. These are a little different than the uh, the Funcast Blast, and they're a little bit longer form questions. They're more thinkers. We gotta we gotta put our thinking caps on. Uh, first one up. Uh, oh no! Special shout out to everyone who sent in questions this week, including Beef Squatch, Poppin' Beards, Apollo Seventeen, Matthew Abbott, Sean Logan, aka Afro Freddy, Josh Smith, aka Chaotic Diablo, Nicholas Scott, aka the Collector, Lucas Browner, aka Lukey Dookie. Stephanie Tebbs, Cheese Mo, Neeson Wiseman, Gabriel Rivera, Ed Pogue, Brian Phillips, and Snack Daddy. Chaotic Diablo. That is That's fun. Awesome. That's just good to say. That's awesome. First question from Nicholas Scott, who asks, Hello, if it Nicholas. were the Stone Age, what would be your profession? Hunter, gatherer, tailor, <laughs> and a weapon. They're the tailors in the uh, Stone Age? Of Was course. that a thing? 
Of course. You gotta That's get pretty your, funny. your leather suit. Someone who made Deather. clothes, I guess, yeah. Wash clothes. I I'll start this one off. I think I'd be a hunter. Yeah. I just like that idea. Uh, and I would like some sort of either bow and arrow or like a spear. Ooh. I think a spear. A spear? Yeah. Not, not, not bow and arrow? You can use that. You can hold on to it, use it for close quarters combat, or you could chuck it. But imagine who you have to fight. You have saber to tigers. You have mammoths. You have all this huge, dangerous fauna that you have to... Dangerous fauna that you have to uh, tackle. Uh, I'm gonna run it. from that stuff. That's well, way no, you, bigger you're, than me. you're a hunter. You can't run away from it. You, you have to a run, mammoth, run a woolly I'm mammoth. I'm running from the mammoth. Yeah, unless I set some sort of m- big trap. So maybe bow I'm, and arrow for you then. Bow and arrow might be nice. Yeah, I'll carry both. Why not? Oh yeah, why not? You have two hands. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, you hopefully they're still both there. That's right. Hillary, I think that I would like to gather herbs and things and Ooh. maybe be some somewhat of like a, a witch healer. doctor yes a shaman? i knew it <laughs> a shaman over yep. here. and my weapon would be like the different herbs and spices i'm thinking of it as like i could use like a blow dart or like blow a powder whoa, into a saber tooth tiger's whoa. face and they go to sleep yeah. something like that you know i would just Ooh. use the herbs that i find <laughs> nice uh, I would have to say I would not have survived in these times. <laughs> oh, come on. The food would have got me. Oh, that's, yeah. I, I would probably weigh like 100 pounds. The food would have got me. Um, but I, I guess I'd probably be like a hunter slash gatherer. I don't know. Like, self-sufficient. I don't need no one. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't live in the cave with everybody else. Yeah. She's like out in a tree somewhere. <laughs> oh, and Dima. And I'd be probably a warrior who would be wounded in the biggest battle. Why would to, you want to be wounded? W- trying to uh, save the village, and then they'll take me to the beautiful shaman, and I'll fall in love with her. That oh, will be great. I see. <laughs> All right. The only reason you're fighting is so you could get hurt for the lady. To go meet the shaman lady. Fighting for the lady. I, I mean, that's, that's you just a bold keep move. you just keep getting fake hurt. That's to right. Get like, taken uh, to the uh, shop. I need herbs, herb lady. Yeah, yeah and herbs. I'm like, oh god, this guy. This like, guy again. The herbs. He just keeps asking me for the herbs. <laughs> I need these for real people. <laughs> He's no Steve Buscemi, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Steve oh, Buscemi doesn't really get like hurt. <laughs> Let me into your cave. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa. You live in the cave, right? Moving right along. I feel like I would live in a tree. Hmm. Pretty hard. Yeah. Like, like Avatar? Tree, tree house. Are you be a big blue lady? Or like I would live at... It'd in be better. You'd get less animals. Yeah. I feel like less. you would enter through the tree trunk Unless and there'd be like bats. a living room there and then you could like go up. Ooh. It'd be very, very nice. And it's would like, you ride a giant bat as you are? Yes. Like there we that's go. how I Robinson. gather my herbs. There we go. <laughs> and put in Story the set. <laughs> you just hear like a... You know, like, oh, there goes herb lady. Like, there's yeah, the witch right. doctor. I don't know that that sounds like eagles, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question, starting with Hillary from Luki Dookie. Which person would be... Oh, here we go. I, I think I got what he's going for here. Which person would most successfully survive the zombie apocalypse? And I don't think it has to be a competition. What I'd like to ask is, like, what would your strategy be okay. for, a zo- for surviving the zombie apocalypse? And would you do okay? I think it depends on what kind of zombies they are. Like, if they're the slow oh. zombies or the, the T-100s fast. Or yeah, the exactly. One, whatever they were, 180s or, I don't know. T-800. T-800, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like um, my strategy would probably be a lot like hiding in in the freezer (laughs) (laughs) it really would be like i think i would find a spot and hide and i probably wouldn't trust anyone Mm -hmm. i'd probably try to find like a mall or someplace that is a food source and be really quiet and and hide because that's what my uh strategy was for Fortnite too. Nice. <laughs> yes, yeah. I was that was preparing you for this potential zombie apocalypse. Yeah. How about you, Ashley? Um I would like to be a lot like Emma Stone in Zombieland. She had a badass leather jacket. Her gun was badass. She just like rode around. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, I think cardio needs to come into play. I think that, that is a valid one rule number one. Yeah. Um but yeah, I mean just I'm, I feel like I'm more hyper aware than a lot of people anyway, so just being more aware of surroundings. And what would your Sneaky. weapon of choice be? <sighs> that, I think that I would gun? have two. I would definitely have a shotgun. Absolutely. What was your weapon of choice? Oh, um, makeup to make myself look like a zombie. <laughs> oh, so. goodness. <laughs> hey, I mean, it works for the, That's for what the I would uh, do whispers. The, yeah, I would do the uh, um, Bill Murray yeah. oh, attempt, yeah. and, that, and I'd probably end up being killed <laughs> you think it's all fine you yeah. walk right up to a zombie and they just plow into you <laughs> you just go in the forest man 
live among the trees. That's what you're going to do? Yeah. What, what would your weapon of choice in be? the forest? There are the zombies in the forest. There's herds. Why are they, what are they doing in the forest? They like They're the everywhere, man. Nah. Nah. The Walking I'll go, Dead I'll go, has... I'll go to like Alaska. Ten seasons to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Alaska. Yeah, Alaska. Bow and arrow. You DMI. hate the cold. Yeah, why would you go I, there? I would rather be cold than being eaten by a freaking zombie. Actually, I think That's it makes true. more sense to go to an island. And then if you can yeah, just you wipe like out hunt. the island. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which was referenced in... Zombie land double yeah, pump. but what about the people that die? If it's like Walking Dead and they die and it's airborne, they're constantly have to fight that people on the island. Or anyways. one of the Dawn of the Dead movies, they just walked in the water. The zombies did, and then ended up walking up oh, the yeah, shore of the island. Oh, that, that would be yeah. horrifying. Yeah, because they don't need air; they don't die. Yeah. So they could just walk oh, right into to, the water. You'd have to have some like sharks or something. And they, then are the sharks well on the cold? zombies? Though no, that's what I'm. Wondering. I don't feel like or they the do. Heat. Like I'm talking freezing cold, yeah. though, like frostbite cold. Like it'd have to be like, like frozen negative water. sixty. So me, I personally have thought about this quite a bit, and uh, <laughs> I am planning it, right now. As much as it pained me, I used to live next to a giant box store. I won't name the name, and uh, it, that angered me that it was in my backyard. But I always thought if it hits the fan, I'm going straight over there and I'm locking down that that place first. I'm going to mm-hmm. own everything inside of it. We're going to put up defenses, not only for the zombies, but other people, too. So I have free access to all the food and supplies and everything in there. Like, before anything else, I'm going straight there and taking How long over. do you think you could live off the supplies of one Target or one Walmart? Probably a year. You take over it, a Does Costco? it have the electricity? A Costco, yeah. You could last a long time. They have generators. Okay. And yeah. you have a group of, let's say... Six people. I think you have to eat all the refrigerated stuff first because yeah. there's there's so many canned goods and then start That's chucking. True. It. I feel like you could live for a, a, a pretty long, long time depending mm-hmm. on how many people are in there. Yeah, you take a, a team of like uh, I don't know ten to twenty people into your local big box store <laughs> and take over that. I think you'd be fine for a long time. Yeah, and they have a limited amount of windows in those places, but they have a roof. So if you need air, you can always go up there. Yeah. If it rains, you could set up stuff to collect all the water. Plus, there's the entertainment area and the liquor area. Well, yeah. Don't forget, you have zombies around. You've got all the materials, zombies. but you're gonna you're gonna board up everything. You're just gonna seal With that place. How many off. zombies that are going to be coming toward this place? You then you'd hard. kind of want it to be one of those super centers that has weapons too. Mm-hmm. Which in Texas, and also all of the liquor bottles could be used as weapons too. Mm-hmm. There you go. And just a good time. Yeah, right? Exactly. I mean, <laughs> well, that's what the beer and wine is for, but the liquor, that's for what? I'm taking over a total cocktails. wine and... <laughs> <laughs> you, you just, your liver gives out before you can yeah. even survive the zombie Whatever, apocalypse. Like last man on earth. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? He has all those balls that he's talking to. <laughs> yeah. All right, that was a fun one, Lukey Dookie. Our final question this week is from Ed Pogue, a.k.a. About Twisted. Have you come across any new shows this season that you... Uh, tried and just said nope. So I'm gonna I'm gonna revise this slightly. Do you have any new favorite shows from the new television season or anything that you tried and and maybe that's not for you? Um, I just, just started watching Watchmen. It was premiered last night. I like that quite a bit. I think that's gonna be a good show coming up. Um, as far as a show that I tried and was like, eh, there was this new series on Amazon. I want to say about like various love stories and it has a bunch of people in it. I forget the name of it, but I was just kind of like, I watched the first episode and I wasn't really that into it. So I don't know if I'll continue watching that or not, but I think it's, it's one of those shows where like each episode is different characters and people kind of like black mirror. So I don't know. It's stocked with celebrities. Yeah. It has a ton in it, but um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really feel it. Dima. It's really hard for me to get in in your show. So because I'm very, very select and picky about my shows. So like, if I heard the show had very very good track records, like uh, you gotta give Thrones. it some time. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, like I haven't seen uh, what's the one with the drugs, the guys. Breaking that, Bad. Breaking Bad. I haven't seen that show yet. <laughs> that's so. not new, sir. I know that's not. New. But to me, it's new <laughs> because I don't know anything about the show. I'm on my second watch of that drugs. right now. Oh really? I've yeah. never seen it either. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, so. Oh, you guys would like it. And now you've got El Camino, the sequel. I tried yeah. to get I tried to watch that it. and I couldn't get into it. Wait, what El Camino? Uh huh. Oh, it's so good. Come on. No, I was just, it's just too much time has passed. I don't know. I guess I don't, I don't really remember it. what happened in Breaking Bad. They give you like a a little bit of a previously, but <laughs> <laughs> previously ten years ago. Previously. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't know. That's yeah. why I started my rewatch. I think uh, if you did a rewatch, if then, I did a rewatch, yeah. it would probably make sense. But I was just kind of like, meh. Move some cars around. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I picked up on a few of the new shows. I've watched The Unicorn with Walton Goggins, which is pretty funny. I really, I like that, and I'll continue to watch it. Um, 
What would you consider one of the new shows? Like yeah. of the new shows, like a what new series? You, like new series or new seasons? There's Nancy Drew. There's uh, Evil is a new Ooh, show. I think just Jim started Carrey that last has night. a new sh- show out that's like a serious role on Stars or something. Oh, My okay. friend was telling me about that, and I was like, hmm. got Righteous Gemstones. Oh, that's which is really Nancy good. Drew. That sounds awesome. Oh, I heard some previews for that uh, and saw a couple trailers. It looks okay. good. Okay, I have to watch that. Carol's second act is pretty good. Um, and then a lot of these I'm saying I haven't been able to watch yet. The Masked Singer is back for season two. That's an interesting one. I don't know why people one. like that. I, I, I find it like if you have nothing else to do, it's pretty entertaining, but it's kind of wacky. I guessed one of them right so far, but that's it. Have you seen the concept? Yeah. Yeah. The costumes are cool. And then you got Walking Dead's back for season 10. I never got into it. I've only seen we the first tried, three. Yeah, we watched like, the first three episodes. And, it's, and I feel like... Of season one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, season one doesn't do it justice. It takes a couple seasons to get a I'd say two through five. See, that's like, okay, that's yeah. the thing I can't get into. I can't, where, I can't like, do this. Everyone says first three episodes, and I'm like, okay, I can I can adhere to that rule. I'll watch three episodes of a show, and if I can't get into it, then I don't. I it's just too difficult for me to watch more yeah, than too, that. Too much I can't watch multiple seasons of a show before I can get into it. <laughs> just trust me. Just stick with it. It's like I've been watching this for months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's fair. Everybody has different tolerance. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So there's that. There are definitely ones though where, like, I feel like I could probably still get into Walking Dead. I just it like it's like Game of Thrones. I tried three times, and then the fourth time. I got stuff. really into yeah. it. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to be in the right headspace. Yeah, totally. You, you just have to be. And I tried to watch Breaking Bad, but you were like, I know I'm going to like this, but I don't want to watch this right now. So we, you know, just has to be the right headspace. You're right. I did that with a few movies too. Yeah. It's like, no, today's not the day, but I'll come back to it. Um, for me, there's a new show uh, that ha- they just came out with the second season called Creeped Out. And I don't know if you guys have heard of it, Mm-mm. but it's, pretty good there are some episodes i really like more than others but that's kind of how it goes with those kind of shows um it's a lot like a modern day goosebumps or are you afraid of the dark and it kind of has like there there's like a main character that um is the mascot i guess of the show that reminds me of sam from trick-or-treat but it's kind of like a kid with a creepy mask on that's always like telling you what the what the um episode i guess like what what the meaning is behind the episode and hmm. what's the heart of the episode? the heart of the episode that sounds like what, a twilight zone intro yeah, kind of it's like kind of like twilight zone all those yeah. shows where it's all just one-offs and what i like about it is it really does feel like are you afraid of the dark or goosebumps but it's like some shows um are like the actors are all british and sometimes it's american and sometimes it's like a different nationality nationality so hmm. it's kind of interesting how it jumps around and it doesn't feel like it's all canadian like the like are you the dark or what do you american. know what station's on it's uh netflix original oh okay yeah so the first season i thought was really great i am like halfway through the second season now there is an episode about um it's loosely based on alexa from Amazon. So it's like, there are these two kids and uh, Alexa does all of their chores for them. So it's kind of like more futuristic Mm -hmm. where Alexa has like more abilities. Like Rosie? Kind of. Yeah. And, and (laughs) it's like the whole, the whole, um, I guess, moral behind the story is that the kids are not spending as much time playing with each other anymore. Like the siblings aren't getting along. And so Alexa's trying to teach them a lesson and it gets, creepy and but it's definitely like kid safe it's like a kid based mm-hmm. show like are you afraid of the dark God, i thought they shouldn't like some and half and some together sounds like no i mean like they're it it like locks the doors and it like can raise Ooh. the temperature a little and like that kind of stuff <laughs> but it's like sounds like a pitch for a black mirror episode if i've heard one it's like black mirror but it's for kids gotcha. black mirror jr yeah <laughs> there was one where there's like there this you go <laughs> crazy like animatronic santa that would punish you if you weren't naughty so that was a weird one <laughs> <laughs> there's no lack of programming out there right that's for sure. that is true I, I would like to hear from fans so when you guys tweet this week if you have any favorite episodes uh or favorite new shows let us know i'm always looking for recommendations that's usually what i'll do on a saturday just fire up something and see where it goes i watched that new paul rudd show over the weekend living with myself How was that? i really enjoyed it it is a very different pace and and like i was telling you before the music is how do you describe that it was uh, 
at, uh, not not atmospheric. It was soundscape. Soundscape. Yeah. So yeah. the whole time through, the music is like this continual noise. Oh, that oh nice. Plays in at different points. Kind of reminds me of an '80s film or even like The Dark Knight, something like that. There's not like a music soundtrack, but there's some music in it still. Mm-hmm. It's a good show. Paul Rudd's amazing. Are there still music soundtracks? For movies and stuff? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I guess I just haven't bought one in like 20 years. Well, now you just Spotify. Or people will make, why. yeah, Spotify lists mm-hmm. for it a lot of yeah. times. Okay. Especially TV. There is a Maleficent with Lana Del Rey right now. Ooh. Yeah. I Lana Del Rey like did some that. cool. She does some awesome covers. Did we she get does, around yeah. everybody? Yeah. Oh, I think so. Mm-hmm. You started, yeah. right? Okay. Cameron, you always? Ed, Ed Pogue. <laughs> Cameron, you Cameron's super quiet today. <laughs> uh, Ed Pogue said uh, that he tried Sunnyside with Cal Penn, and that wasn't for him. I've never heard, heard of that. that. I saw the trailer for it. It didn't didn't really appeal Wait, to me Sunnyside, either. like a trailer park from Trailer tra- tra- Yeah, Trailer, trailer Park, park oh, no. Boys. <laughs> Those are different shows, ah. not new ones. Oh, come on. All come right, on, let's Sully. move on to uh, <laughs> general topics. Funko Photo Day Challenge is going on right now through October 31st. I think we're, what, six or seven days in at the time we're recording this, which means we're almost at the halfway mark. Uh, you guys don't give up. Even if you haven't been featured, any day could be your day. Just look for the theme each day. Interpret it as you please. I think the big one we just had was 80, mm-hmm. and it was really interesting to see. Somebody, Some people did Marvel 80th. Some people did Batman 80th. Some mm-hmm. people did 80s themed. Mm-hmm. Oh, Other cool. people yep. made the number 80 out of pops that's or perfect. patches. That's awesome. And that's exactly what this whole thing is about. Yep, Interpret it however you want. It's totally all about creativity. Your creativity. Yeah. yeah. There's no right or wrong. Nope. I saw somebody comment. They said, I hope that they're picking these based on creativity and not just the right figure. Well, well absolutely. No, no oh, totally. Creativity. Yeah. yeah. That's what the figure? whole point. That's why the, the prompts are always vague because we want it yeah. to be up to you. Mm-hmm. So photo a day challenge. Keep going. The themes are on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, we do a reminder each and every day on Instagram of what that theme for the day is. So make sure you're paying attention there. Do you remember which one is on Wednesday? When it's going up? Is this going up on Wednesday? This would go up on Wednesday, and I don't remember exactly now, but we can certainly look. You want me to look it up? Let's do the finger. It is the day after Shelfie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is tomorrow Shelfie? Yeah. Shelfie is always one of the most entertaining ones. That's tomorrow, for sure. Tomorrow, is, I think, is Shelfie. I'm looking. I'm looking. That's okay. While I'm looking for that. This is the Sully Scrolling Soul. October 22nd. Yes. Tuesday is Shelfie. Good call. October 23rd is Favorite Fall Beverage. Oh, there we go. I really dig that. Could be a cider. Could be a tea. Could be a Coke. Could be a tall glass of water, whatever Could you want. You just got to make juice. sure you work in a Funko item into your photo with the tall. Could be a pop holding a beverage. That's right. Why not? Is the Coca Cola bear out yet? I don't believe so. Okay. That would be a good I one. I was going to say, yeah. it, it, I think it, this the figure be in could stores be the beverage. Now. Maybe, in. Yeah. Maybe somebody finds one in time for the photo. Yeah. Then Can we got. figure uh, float in the beverage? Throwback Thursday, Funko Fashion <laughs> Friday. Sure. Space is one. That's going to be fun <gasps> to see what we do. Ooh. Team Spirit, favorite villain, Shoofy coming up. That's a, self, that's a fun one. Something Purple and Trick or Treat. On October 31st. I think that might be my favorite one this time around. I can't wait to see all the pictures of people in their costumes Mm -hmm. uh, with their Funko items. I I think it it would be fun if um, listeners let us know what their favorite theme is. Oh, yeah. Because there are some themes that we carry over every time because we see the most interaction with them. Like Shoofy and Shelfie are two of the... Pets. And pets. Those three are usually the top Mm -hmm. that we find, so we try to carry them over every time, but... If you have Stop a favorite, forcing the shoofy. I <laughs> everyone. Well, the just happen. We have so many entries with the shoofy. Oh, though. I know. I read a comment on that online, and I was like. Pfft. Well, the shoe don't, will never stop. I started Funko Carpet. If you don't like the theme for that day, start working on the next day's theme. We've, yeah. we've revealed them all. Right. Yeah. We put extra time and also, effort into it. Also, with the shoe fee, if you don't collect shoes, if, you don't, if you're not a sneakerhead, or if you don't, um, you don't want to take a f- picture of your shoes, take a picture of your pop's shoes. Yeah. That can be a shoe fee. Yep. You know, we really didn't fun. say it has to be new shoes. No. Or, or collectible shoes. And it doesn't have to be sneakers. It can be whatever you whatever want it to you be. Want. be a big, big pair of boots. Yeah, it could be Santa some boots. boots. Let's just keep the toes in check, okay? Yeah. We don't, I don't all, need a lot of All that. the six toes? Say, yeah, we could, we could definitely <laughs> keep the toes in check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Funko Verse uh, is out in retail, not necessarily everywhere, but in a lot of places now, and still being distributed. So be on the lookout for Funko Verse that comes in all those different uh, varieties, those flavors, if you will. Yeah, you got DC. There's DC four player, DC two player. There's Harry Potter four player, Harry Potter two player. What? 
There's also Rick and Morty two player, <gasps> and there's Golden Girls two player, nice. and more coming. More oh, on the yeah. way. We did see some of the licenses coming out, and you guys yeah. be excited. Right. I mean, I think oh. you should start now because you're going to want to start building that collection, yes, so you can the, have some the, cool the packs characters that you can add on or rad. Yeah, totally. There has been a hint already. I saw on Instagram today. Yep. There was like oh, a big hint. Do, 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 nice. I feel it. Now I want to go home and watch. In addition. <laughs> to the game being out, we're asking fans to go take a photo of where you find it at retail. So a Target, a Walmart, wherever. Uh, you don't Hobby have shop. to purchase it. Where's that? Hobby Co- shop. Hobby shops. Coffee yep. shops. Coffee shop. Wherever you find it to purchase. And take a photo of it, maybe with yourself in the photo. Yeah. Uh, let us know where you're finding it. We're kind of using that as a scavenger hunt to let everybody know where they can find it. And then also we're giving away these really cool limited edition gold Batman pops. And the pop is the size that you find in the game for Funkoverse, not a normal size pop. Those are very limited and will only be given out to people in this giveaway. So keep your uh, photos coming, and who knows, maybe you'll get selected and you'll get one of those to add to your collection. I like it. Love it. That's how the currency should be done with the gold Batmans. That's how it should be done with the gold Batmans? We're doing it right. That's what we're doing. Print your own money. (laughs) Finally, for general topics, Funko Hollywood. So a couple of things to check off here. We did do ticketing last Monday. Those tickets for the scheduled times on the grand opening day are done. People have gotten them. But I have seen some cancellations. I guess people had Mm -hmm, a conflict, mm -hmm. couldn't travel, accidentally got duplicate times. So those go back into the pool and become available on the site. So every so often, you continue to check. We will have a standby line on the day of the store opening as well for when we get through those people in line to bring in more if you want to wait it out. We did have the big Alaska Airlines Funko Hollywood giveaway, the Funko Goes Hollywood giveaway. We've selected all our winners. We've reached out to them. There are five separate winners who are going to get airfare, hotel, $50 shopping spree, and maybe some other perks. Hang out with Sully. You might, we might get to hang. You know, <laughs> uh, At... The big HQ opening, or I'm sorry, the Funko Hollywood opening on November 18th. We're waiting until we get information back from them that they all state, yes, I am eligible, I meet all the requirements, and then we'll reveal who won. And don't be surprised if it's just like a first name. We're not going to tell you where they live. Oh, no. So you can go, can I be your plus one? That's not how it works. (laughs) Uh, and then details on what will be happening on grand opening day will come as we get closer to the event. So if you're asking if we'll have games or giveaways or whatever, just going to have to hold off. We're still formulating all that. So, I mean, we've got three weeks. Working through the details. That's you know, plenty of time. Maybe about 48 hours before we'll put together That's a right. big game plan. That's you know. right. Ten. We got this. <laughs> Ten hours. Ten hours? Yeah. What is this? Uh, can you name that tune? I'll do it in, I'll do it in eight hours. I'll do it in ten minutes. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> It's, it's going to be a little lean. Yeah. yeah. Everything's door dashed. Right. <laughs> I love door dash. All right. Way back on episode 122, I had uh, on HT Nerdette from Hot Topic as our uh, getting to know guest. And we promised some prizes there. I've already selected the winner and it's already been shipped and received, but I thought I'd go ahead and highlight it. Uh, Kim, a.k.a. Kimmyish, won that HT Nerdette pop signed Ooh. by HT, Ner- HT Nerdette, along with, I believe, a social media Freddy was in there as well. I hope so, because now that I've said it, if not, I'm going to have to send her one. <gasps> and then over on SoundCloud, we gave away a social media Freddy and a fun cash shirt to M. Rosario. Nice. Who we haven't heard back from yet. So, M. Rosario, check your DMs on SoundCloud for details on how to uh, get your prize. Do it or do that, do it, or we'll take it. We'll keep it. <laughs> you, you, are you going to claim it? Oh, yeah. I'm already wearing it. You're not eligible, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, episode 123 was our live from New York Comic Con. If you haven't listened to it, be sure to do so. We did not promise any additional prizes from that one, but here we are in episode 124. We are going to give away a Funko Verse game of your choice. You get to pick any of those ones we talked about just a minute ago, along with the social media Freddy Pop, by simply sharing the podcast and including the hashtag Funko Funcast. That's F U N K O F U N K A S T plus an emoji. Did you select our emoji last time? I feel like you did. I feel like I, I don't know. I feel like it's been a long time. Actually, I think, I, it's your I, turn. I think I've done it. Have you done it? Recently. Have you picked our emoji? I was a shoe. I know I picked that. What you emoji should people include with their tweet? This is how we verify that they really listened. Ooh, can we have uh, the one? <laughs> no. A six foot bat. Yeah. Giant <laughs> bat. Can we have the where the man and the woman dancing? Man and woman dancing. Yeah. Is this going back to your story about fighting so you could go see the shaman lady? Is that two separate emojis though, or is that one emoji? I, I think it's one emoji. Let me double check. I think it's two. I think it's well, two. if it's two, not. use both. Let me let me check. But include those along with your tweet and tell people why they should listen to the Funcast. Not just 
listen for Funko stuff. I'm actually just going to tweet it right now. Give a little more detail. Oh, yeah, just nothing else? No context, nope. just that? No, nope, just it. let me see so people can reference to see which one it is. We're actually going to pick multiple winners on Twitter this week. So this is a good week to, to give it a run. You might get that Social Media Friday and Funko Verse game of your choice. Crap, you're correct. They're not dancing together. Okay. That's right. Use both. I love emojis. Use both. I'm going to make them dance together. <laughs> Boom. The puppet master over here. It. And then over on SoundCloud, where you can listen to the fun cast and comment along with everyone else, uh, drop a comment anywhere under this episode of the fun cast for a chance to win a Social Media Freddy and a fun cast t shirt. Ashley's favorite shirt. Mm -hmm. That's a good shirt. Oh, yeah. Good I need taste. a new one. Mine is dated. I need a new one, too. <laughs> Mine has seen some stuff. Mine has seen some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> bare, the letters bare, barely appearing on there anymore. They've Can't seen speak. the cons. The cons. All right, guys, it's time for videos. Videos, you say? Why, videos, you say? Well, videos, you say? We've got a ton of new videos that we've uploaded over the last few weeks to our YouTube channel, which is at Original Funko, including Frozen 2 unboxing, Marvel 80th, Marvel Collector Core unboxing, which I did. That was a lot of fun. Uh, pop artists coming soon, live unboxing. But doing the live unboxings on Wednesdays. Dang that goes right. To YouTube, Mixer, Twitch, Flippity, yep. Periscope. Facebook, all those. Did you can you watch on any of the above. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> the old flippity flu social yep. media channel. All of them. You guys can watch uh, while it's live, but you can still watch and participate in the giveaways for up to like six days afterwards. Because mm -hmm. I picked the new winner for the previous week before the next one airs. Nice. So it gives you time. You're not limited nice. by only being available to watch during that one you know, 30 minute window. So be sure y'all are watching. YouTube is the, probably one of the best places to do that. And then let's see. Last time, episode 123, which was our New York Comic Con Live, I didn't tell anybody this, but I got a surprise. We're going to pick a winner who commented. What? And our winner is Android Ash 316 Nice. I can't message you directly on there. So Android Ash, I need you to email us, prizes at Funko.com, to claim your prize. Preferably so in a small rap. <laughs> yes, in a haiku. <laughs> in a haiku. Haiku form. Ooh, haiku. Claim your prize in a haiku form. I like it. This week, new giveaway. Comment under this episode of the Funcast on YouTube specifically for a chance to win a surprise prize pack. Surprise prize pack. Surprise it. S an SPP. Surprise yeah, you know me. Surprise pack. It's a half-eaten sandwich and an egg roll. That sounds... <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really hungry right now, so that, that oh, sounds yeah. okay. That egg roll sounds amazing. Yeah. I could do that. I would even do the half-eaten sandwich. Do you microwave egg rolls? Yes. Oh. I, I mean, try, you have to if they're, like, left over. I try not to microwave anything. If, if they were, like, pizza or something like that, I would turn on the oven. Oh, yeah, no. in the oven. What's oven the, is definitely ideal, better. but if food. you have to, What's I'd rather have food? it microwaved than cold. The worst food for microwaving. Worst uh, food? French fries or leftover tacos. Yeah. Eggs. <laughs> anything that's just, like, just turns rubbery. Bread. Like what? Bread chicken. Does not I hold think up chicken well. is terrible. Chicken microwave it. horrible. It, it's microwave it. <laughs> I, I immediately <laughs> go for the stovetop or oven directions on everything. I would rather wait the hour and change for it to taste good than nuke it. It you makes me want to get a uh, toaster oven again. Yeah, toaster ovens are the jam. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they, they start huge so many fires. <laughs> yeah. I remember one time in middle school, my mom left her purse on the top of the toaster oven, and I made bagel bites, and her mm. purse <sighs> caught on fire. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did that with but a little bit. You laugh about it now. Yeah, but I yeah. was in a no. I had lot a toaster of oven that was. Not right when I lived in Portland, and yeah. a couple of times my roommate wasn't always the brightest. Leave it on. Oh, nice. yeah, you like, can't yeah. do that. I was like, uh -uh. cool, I'm at work for like 10 hours a day, and I have a small dog. Okay. Yeah, yeah you can't do That's that. Scary. Uh -uh. No. And it doesn't really, it's not really great about turning itself off. Mm -mm. No. It just Safety gets hotter. First. I know. <laughs> Thankfully, yeah, I've accidentally happened. left a small flame on the stove top, stove top before. Like if you turn it way down to simmer, yeah. take a pot off, it's really hard to even notice it's on. Mm -hmm. And then I come back like an hour or two later, I'm like, oh, that's great. Oh, I awesome. hate, yeah. I don't like a gas stove. It nope, makes dangerous. me worried that I'll just have a gas leak. Because then I think that I, I would like leave it on, but just the gas. That's like, actually pretty hard to do. Really? Because you would have to ignite it, have it going, yeah, you and then hear the blow the flame too. out. I feel like I'd have a cold and my ears would be plugged up. <laughs> There's and, a perfect I storm. Can't, we, have a, it we have a gas grill and you this can always hear it. This when isn't it's Final on. Destination, Hillary. You're okay. I don't know. Hillary, Hillary lives very dangerously she, every day. That is I true. Do. <laughs> Not deliciously, dangerously. Yes. Yeah. She lives dangerously. I've been eyeballing an air fryer. 
I really like the My idea. brother got one of those. He really likes yeah? it. Yeah. Some good recipes for it, and everything's lower, like, fat yep. content, cholesterol. Isn't that where, like, camel spits on it, and you throw it in the yeah, fire? Exactly right. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, you exactly have to get a full-size two-hump camel. That's right. Not it has one. to be a two-hump camel. One won't do. Yeah. Two or don't three. Don't you one? <laughs> yeah. You yeah, you can go bigger, but never lower. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Weird Totally unrelated. I kind of want to, um, uh, what is it called? Not dehumidifier, but when dehydrator. Mm. Oh, I have to one make of those. like those jerky. Are... Yeah. Or, yeah. It's good for, to make like banana chips. And yeah. Stuff. You can make oh, like vegetable chips. chips and stuff. Did you know that if you take a slab of meat and just slap it for like three days, you'll be dehumidified like that? No. Wow. Three days? Not, three days. Who's got that real. time? Yeah, right? No one has time for that. You'll starve, sir. All right, you won't see me till uh, Friday. Yeah. Uh, all right, slap, slap, slap. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No one said it. Let's not say it. What You're is edging happening? towards it. Woo. I think it's time for cool stuff. Cool stuff. Oh wow! Oh, so like she got milk. deep. She's sick. That the, the, I'm sick. <laughs> the mucus. I think you heard deep. Creed in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's start with. Hillary, because she seems Hello. very excited about this. What is the cool thing you saw last week? Um, I've been obsessed with uh, the last, actually, month, really, Korean television. And I've watched several shows that I would like to recommend to you, depending on what you like. I've watched a lot of, like, teenage drama romance Korean shows, like Boys Over Flowers and Oh My Ghost <laughs> um, which was amazing. Um, but right now I'm, w- I'm watching Abyss, which is more of like a police procedural um, murder mystery slash like supernatural kind of thing. And that one is really, really fun. And it's super well done. It's a Netflix original. There are a lot of Netflix original um, Korean television shows. So you know that it has that same quality. And that one is great. So if you like police procedural kind of supernatural <laughs> feel to it, and you're into subtitles, check out Abyss. 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 Oh. Um, I didn't come that prepared. But I guess uh, I would say Zombieland Double Tap was the coolest thing I saw in the Ooh, last that week. Was a, that yeah. was a really good movie. It lived up exactly what you would think it would be. Yep. And that's what it was. Mm-hmm. It wasn't as good as one, in my opinion, but who's going to, you know, right. what's going to top one? But no, it was good. I liked the hippie commune. Yes, it was a lot of comedy, <laughs> a lot of action. The cast is good as always, so... Go see it. I have watched the movie on Saturday. It's that good. Was a thing in my top three of all movies that wow. I've ever seen in my life. It was amazing. It was so good, in fact, that I forced Hillary to watch it with me on Sunday again. I really liked it. You didn't force me. It just. I was like, I, I came on from Saturday. From Saturday, I was like, Hillary, you have to see this movie. Yeah, well, when someone point. is like, you have to see this, we're watching it, it's the best movie ever made, you're kind of like, I don't want to watch it now. It's, mm-hmm. you know? it's too it's much. Hard to but then up. when you watched it? It took me a day, and I watched it, and it is a very good movie. So the name of the movie is Battle for Sevastopol. Sevastopol. Mm-hmm. That just sounds cool. It sounds like a brand of vodka. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I, I, I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> it's a very good movie. It needs to be seen. Yeah, it's. Um, did you want to say what it's about? Uh, no. I think <laughs> you should. It's really cool. It's about your recommendation should be enough. Yep. Well, I'm going to talk about Look what it's about. It's about a woman who is a sniper in World War II, and she killed the m- most. Um, Wait, Nazis. Oh yeah, we Was talked she about one of the it. women you featured Pavlichenko? in the Women yeah. of Power. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no wonder you're really Dude. into it. I did. Yeah. yeah, and they they made a movie about her, and it's about her. Um, and she like s- spends time at the White House with Eleanor Roosevelt, and Eleanor Roosevelt's a really big fan of hers, and it's like them talking. It's a, it's a really good movie, and mm-hmm. it's interesting to see, uh, the, like the Russian military and how like women were in World War II, and I don't think women really joined mm-hmm. the military in America for quite a while. So it's interesting to see that like some of the, some of the like issues that you may see that happen in movies where women are just joining the U.S. military were happening in the 1930s. That's amazing. 40s, yeah. And she, and she was dominating. And she was 19 years old. She was 19 <laughs> years old, and she killed like 350 people. Wow. Top Man. Nazis. Just hunting Nazis, them down. yeah. That's amazing. Yes, yeah, so okay, so, I'm interested. Some of the scenes were so terrifying. He was like watching them. She was like, Holy crap, this is horrible. Like real tense? <laughs> yeah, well, like, you know, when the Nazis come over the hill. Oh, oh and yeah, she's like a, so she's a sniper, battle. so she's not like, 
you know, she they're, when they're getting closer, you've got to be really scared when you're a sniper because yeah. you're like a long distance person. And if they get close, you, you're it's not a lot really harder, like, yeah. yeah, you can't really shoot. They so have a scope and everything. And, and they're throwing heavy. bombs at you. Yeah. Honestly, like you bombarded from airplanes and you have to like shoot them down. And you, this is your first battle. <laughs> what is it about that in movies? I love those type of scenes. I would never want to live it in a million years, but uh-uh. I, I do love to see those. Well, you've seen like, really you know, the, uh, you see the real humanity fighting for the life and they have to perform a task. You ever see uh, We Were Soldiers with Mel Gibson? There's a couple scenes where they're just like standing in the middle of an open field with pistols. Like guys are just yeah. running at them, getting two feet away. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, so there's tense. a lot of that kind of stuff. And in this one? It's pretty gory, too. So Sinister. if you're not into the like wartime gore kind of stuff, then I would not watch it. I got to check that But it's real. It's I'll, real I'll life, it man. It was like beginning of Save it, Saving Private Ryan style. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's a that's an intense like first ten minutes to a movie for sure. Yeah, there's like a lot of that. You're like worn out by the time the movie's really starting. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm taking it in a very different direction. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little. Let, let's put some bright sunshine here. Prepare to roll your eyes, Ashley, Uh-oh. because oh, I'm going to talk once again about my new favorite thing in the world, Letterkenny. Uh, <laughs> this yeah, show, all I hear about all day. Watched, I know. <laughs> all I've watched a few episodes. Hours yeah. Yeah. and hours of us talking about Letterkenny. It's one of the funniest <laughs> things I've ever seen in my life. I just I love it more after every episode. I love the cast so I much. I can't wait to see it. And I made the comment like two weeks ago because I found out that they used to do live tours. Uh-huh. They'll actually go perform the skits, answer Q and A stuff like. Like, I was like, if they come through, if they plan another one of these, no, sp- I'm sparing no expense. It's happening. <laughs> Tickets went on sale today. They're coming through Seattle. Dropped a dime. April 8th. I dropped an obscene amount of money <laughs> to get not only the tickets in the front row, yeah. but the meet and greet, oh, the signed wow. lithograph, the whole wow, shebang. The whole, like the whole three million. I'm Let's not go. the only one. Several of us did it here. Uh, at least two. And uh, it's going to be worth <laughs> every penny. It? I can't wait. It's uh, April 8th. April so 8th? 170 days away. I got some time to wait. But they're doing a whole North American and Canadian tour. They're coming through Portland. They're going through Houston, Austin, uh, Ottawa, Canada, where my brother lives. So maybe I'll go visit up there and see them. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I won't be dropping money on the VIP experience at every one of these. I promise you that. But, uh, you know, every once in a while, you got to treat yourself. Yeah. And uh, that's what I'm doing for Letterkenny. If you guys haven't watched it, I will not oversell it any further. I watched it. But please give it a run. That's it's pretty on funny. Hulu. There's seven seasons now that you can okay, watch. Okay, good. So I'm finished up. Hillary and I finished up the Trailer Park Boys right now. So we've got a couple of movies off of that. And then I'm going to jump into that. And you don't it's have to wait to be three similar, episodes on this one. Right? Oh, it's, it's funny off the yeah. bat, I think. It's funny off the bat. There yeah. you go. You guys give it a run. I want to I want to see a lot of Letterkenny references. A lot this of week. snipes. Big city snipes. Big crushing city Sanders. Sanders. Oh, I can't wait to see it. This sounds so much fun. <laughs> it sounds like Figure it out. you would yeah. like and you're oh, not yeah. going to stop quoting it. Ever. I have not four. found a male that has not been like extremely in love with this show. <laughs> I haven't talked to a lot of women about it, but every dude I've ever spoken to about it is just like <gasps> My wife's yeah. really yeah. enjoying uh-huh. it. She's like, "Hey, can we watch more of that?" I'm like, "Absolutely." Nice. Yeah, <laughs> I'll watch it with you again. All right, Hillary. Did we start yeah. with you? We made it full round. Yeah. yeah. I was all about the Korean it's drama. It's a circle right. of life. Oh, gosh. All right, so our last <laughs> segment is our bad dad jokes. <laughs> Everyone prepare to roll your eyes. Wait, so do we need to Are we doing a figure timer? out? Let's see. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I bet everyone loves that to hear me count. That is so many. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 jokes. DJs coming your way. Let's go I think half. I can do it in uh, 35. Five seconds. Thirty-five seconds. Yep. All right. Before we hit go, though, the questions or the jokes were sent in this week by Josh Smith, Stephanie Tebbs, Brian Phillips, Matthew Abbott, and Sean Logan, aka Afro Freddy. Do you want to uh, lose up? Loosen up the lips. Okay. okay. Drink some ready. water. Ready? You ready for this? Go. What is Bruce Lee's favorite drink? Water. <laughs> you what just did the five seconds the snowman? Do you smell carrots? What happened when Ben Franklin told a joke at the Liberty Bell? It cracked up. My wife got mad at me for kicking ice cubes under the fridge. It's all right now. It's just water under the fridge. What do you call a number that can't sit still? A Roman numeral. What kind of kitten works for the Red Cross? A first aid kit. I understand how batteries feel. I'm not including in anything either. My wife is really mad that I have no sense of direction, so I pack my stuff and write. People from Dubai don't like the Flintstones, but people from Abu Dhabi do. Why did Beethoven get rid of the chickens? All they said was bark, bark, bark. Did you hear about the woman who got cooled to absolute zero? She's okay now. Did you hear about the mathematician who's afraid of negative numbers? She will stop at nothing to Flip. avoid them. A photon is going through airport security in the TSA ags- Agent asks if he has luggage. No, says the photon. I'm traveling light. A Roman nice. walks into a bar, holds up two fingers, and says, Five drinks, please. What did Mr. T say to the vegetarian? I pity tofu. What do you get when you cross fish in an elephant? Swimming trunks. And what do you call a sleeping bull? A bulldozer. 
Nice. It's more like a minute. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Can you guess where you're at? Uh, I'm going to go 52 seconds. 58 seconds. Uh, we we'll have to talk more about this, I got this, tripped darling. up. Yeah. yeah not my best performance. That, but there was 17 jokes, man. That was a lot of jokes. That was jokes a on lot jokes. of stuff. Jokes on jokes on jokes. Good I job, man. I can't take credit for creating any of them. Good job. <laughs> I, I'm it's, listening back to that segment at New York Comic Con where I read that entire list of things for the... That was great. <laughs> it's like, why? Why does anyone <laughs> want to hear that? <laughs> Writing a joke is one thing, but the actual life of the joke is in delivery. I, so. I'd say I got about 80% on this one. Yeah. There were a couple I messed up. You're good. You're good. I'm proud right. of you. All right. I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing stand-up anytime soon, so it's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, one final round uh, here. Anything you guys want to share? Talk about? Scream? <laughs> My shoulder hurts. I guess uh, I'm ready for your dinner. I'm sorry. See a doctor. We have good health care. Uh, <laughs> join us on Wednesday for a live. Should be at our normal time, hopefully, 2 p.m. Wednesday? Pacific. Live? Wednesday. Live. Oh, for video? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought, yes. I thought video, it was a podcast. Say. I'm like, what are you talking about? Live podcast. Oh, I didn't spring that on you guys? No. Episode 200. Hey. We're just we don't have a con coming up. We don't. Not for uh, a while. we got a store opening coming up, though. Oh. Are we doing anything there? I don't know. Mm. I told everybody to wait and see, so well, let's not uh, say anything yet. Treat okay. me, Sally. Um, what else? We got Funko Fashion Friday on Friday. We got Funko Photo a Day going on every day through Halloween. Nonstop. Steeply snap. Do it. If you're playing Funko Verse, use the hashtag Funko Game Night, yep. and we will share your Funko Verse posts. And you if go. you are going to win, make sure you take a photo of the person who lost, and we're going to call him a loser. No. <laughs> what? That's not a direction we go, uh, sir. Yeah. It's called Funko. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I think guess. that's it. So we'll sign off in three, two. One. Got a lot of